Hey guys, make sure to stay tuned and we'll explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and relays that can end up you spending quite a bit of money on diagnostics to parts that you may not need. Make sure to stay tuned the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today guys will be super helpful video 20 v having a Ford Explorer that generation here from year 2011 to year 2015 if you need to find where the power outlet fuses and relays are located we're talking about a power outlet in the front in the rear in the center consoles that we just will explain where you can find them we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience please make sure it's there until the end so before we start, let us tell you guys a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, um, engine lights, transmission lights, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way, check out our YouTube channels. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So for the power outlet guys, which fuses and relays we need to check, we will demonstrate on this generation Ford Explorer right here. Now, what do we guys need to do? We need to open the hood and when you open the hood here that's a car battery next to it on the driver's side you have the main engine fuse box press these two tabs open that cover and you're going to find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burned or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here we need to check first four fuses guys where they are located those are four cigarette lighter also known as power outlet so coming this way fuse number nine that 20 amp fuse that's the one that you need to check right here then you need to check that's 18 19 20 fuse number 20 will need to be checked and fuse 21 then you need to check fuse 27 so all these guys, 5 20 amp fuses, will be the ones that you will need to check. You don't have any relays, practically that's a body control module function, so you have only these fuses that you need to check. So guys, by the way, you have all kinds of different fuses, relays, circuit breakers, and check under the hood. It's even more complicated, guys. And even you have some special fuses, okay, like this one right here. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that. We recommend to buy some, put them in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.